What if I told you that you could build your own ChatGPT, Midjourney, or coding assistant without needing a PhD in machine learning or spinning up a single GPU? No training, no tuning, just results. It sounds too good to be true. Well, that's exactly what Amazon Bedrock lets you do. Welcome back to AWS with a beer, where today I'm breaking down what Amazon Bedrock is, why it matters, and how it fits into the bigger picture of generative AI on AWS. And stick around because this isn't just another AI service. This could be the easiest way to inject generative AI into your apps without going off the deep end. So what is Amazon Bedrock? Let's start with the basics. Amazon Bedrock is a fully managed foundation model service that lets you build and scale generative AI applications using pre-trained models from top AI companies without managing infrastructure or worrying about model operations. You can think of it like this. Bedrock is the Netflix of foundation models. You don't have to produce the movie, direct the actors or run the studio. You just pick what you want to watch or in this case, which model you want to use and hit play. Like I say, there's no servers and no GPUs. So Bedrock gives you access to leading foundation models from providers like Anthropic, AI21 Labs, Meta, Stability AI, and of course, Amazon's own family of models, including Titan and Nova. Now you could go and spin up your own large language model, fine tune it, host it on SageMaker, and then monitor latency and token drift and tweak hyperparameters like you're cracking open a safe. Or you could use Bedrock and have a production grade auto scaling endpoint in seconds. Now here's what Bedrock abstracts away. There's no infrastructure management. There's no model hosting. There's no auto scaling setup. There's no patching or updates, no ML expertise required. You literally hit an API with a prompt and get a response. It's like, Calling an API to generate a poem, summarize a document, translate a conversation, generate an image, or even write code, all without touching the deep internals of the model. You focus on your app. Bedrock takes care of the heavy lifting. So what can you actually build with Amazon Bedrock? I'm glad you asked. Here are some real world use cases. Customer support assistance powered by Claude or Titan marketing copy generators using AI21's Jurassic 2, product image generators with Stability AI, enterprise document summarizers using Titan Text G1, financial or legal data Q&A bots using Llama 3 with Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, and yes, Bedrock supports agents, meaning you can build AI agents that take actions, call APIs, interact with databases, and reason across workflows. Now Bedrock also plugs easily into the rest of your cloud stack as well. So you can perform semantic search by connecting it to a vector database or indexing layer. You can trigger custom business logic by calling backend functions in response to model output. Query real-time data from your databases or APIs to enrich the model's responses. And integrate with enterprise knowledge bases to improve document summarization and Q&A accuracy. So whether you're building search, chatbots, workflow automation, or analytics tools, Bedrock plays well with the tools you're already using. It's plug and play for devs already in the AWS ecosystem. Now I know what you're probably thinking, where does Amazon's newest foundation models, Amazon Nova, fit into this? So a quick refresher, Amazon Nova is the umbrella of the newest foundation models covering text, image, video, audio, and more across AWS. Amazon Bedrock is a specific service that interacts with Nova that gives you a serverless API-based way to use these models. And then Amazon SageMaker is where you go when you want to train, fine-tune, or customize models at a deep level. So here's how I like to frame it with different use cases. Let's say I want to use a pre-trained model with zero infrastructure. I use Amazon Bedrock. Or if I want to fine tune my own model on proprietary data, then I'll use Amazon SageMaker. And then if I want to define and select the right foundation model for my Gen AI solution, the answer will be Amazon Nova. So Bedrock is your entry point into Gen AI on AWS. 
Nova is your menu of models, and SageMaker is your lab if you're doing something custom. Let's talk tech. Using Bedrock is as easy as using any AWS SDK. You choose your model provider, specify your input prompt, and the Bedrock API handles the rest. Now here's a simple Python example using Boto3. This code uses the AWS SDK Boto3 to send a text prompt to the Anthropic Claude V2 model via Amazon Bedrock and prints the model's response. Specifically, it asks the model to write a haiku about cloud computing by invoking the model with a prompt and a token limit. The response is then read from the return stream and printed to the console. Now you can also bring your own custom prompts, prompt templates, and even fine tune models if you're using Amazon's own models. Now, if you want to integrate this with your private company data, then Bedrock also supports RAG workloads natively. Combine it with vector databases and you've got your own private chat GPT for internal knowledge. But Amazon Bedrock isn't just a new shiny toy, it's a powerful abstraction layer that makes enterprise grade Gen AI accessible to devs, startups, and big businesses alike. If you're already building an AWS, this is the easiest path to get AI into your apps. And remember that question from earlier, can you build your own chat GPT or mid journey without touching GPUs or training data? Well, with Bedrock, yeah, you kind of can. If this video helped you understand Amazon Bedrock, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and check out my Amazon Nova video to see which foundation model is right for your next AI idea. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on AWS with a Beer. Cheers.